Report. This is the Rumor Report Talk to with Angela Yee on the Breakfast Club. Well, Colin Kaepernick has touched down, so he is getting ready for his big workout that's going to be happening on Saturday. Yesterday, he touched down in Atlanta to get ready for that workout. And um, some of the teams so far that have committed, because they're going to be actually meeting with 11 different teams, Arizona, Atlanta, Cleveland, Denver, Detroit, Miami, New England, the Giants, the Jets, Tampa Bay, and Washington, they are going to be attending. And they said it's only Thursday so far, so they're still, well, yesterday it was Thursday, so still until tomorrow. For the workout, they do expect additional teams will commit to actually uh, be in attendance or at least send some video of the workout to all 32 teams as well. Listen, Good luck to Cap. Yeah, we, sh- we should all be sending Cap positive energy. You should all hope Cap gets on a team. I think if you don't want Cap on a team, then you're just one of these Negroes who wants to complain for the sake of complaining. You know what I mean? When, when Wiley Coyote finally catches the road runner, you got to know what to do with him when you get him. Right. Okay. So if Cap catches the road runner tomorrow, which I believe he will, you, we should all be celebrating that, right? That's yep. what we wanted, right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Now, what's interesting is that NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell made a public appearance yesterday, and one of the demands that they had was that they would not talk about Colin Kaepernick at all during that time and period that he was at the Paley Center. So he said that he only had 25 minutes. And that's why they didn't even want to discuss that right then. Yeah, I mean, plus there's nothing to talk about. The tryout, the workout is tomorrow. Twelve teams are going to be there. Yo, we send Colin nothing but positive energy. I don't see why he wouldn't make a team, especially this year with all of these quarterbacks uh, down and out. All right, now for the second year in a row, Alicia Keys will be returning as the host for the Grammys. So congratulations to her. Yep, that takes place uh-huh. January 26th at the Staples Center in L.A. And it'll be broadcast live. And Sierra will be hosting the 2019 American Music Awards. So that should be fun. Yep. She's uh, set to host that. So, yeah, Black Girl Magic. Voting is still open until November 20th for all categories for the American Music Awards. So you can get your votes in as well. All right. And uh, now let's discuss who considered running for president. But he said his family voted it down. It was actually Mark Cuban. Can you see him running in 2020? That was his original idea. And here's what he told TMZ happen. Oh, no, my family voted it down. No? Yeah, There's no I would have done it office. if they said yes, but no, I don't see it. Happen. So you don't see any political future? Absolutely. You never know. You never say never. No more. We don't need no more celebrity and chiefs, man. I, I really think that they need to change the qualifications for president. I think that you need to have a certain level of education, and you definitely should have held some type of public office before you get to just be the president of the United States of America. I agree with that. Some definitely some type of public office. Come on, man. Now, here's an update on what's happening with Eric Holder. That's Nipsey Hussle's alleged killer. He has pleaded not guilty to all six charges brought against him last month, as you know. How do you do that? We all seen the video. Now, as a de- defense attorney tried to have the two attempted murder charges dropped, a judge denied that motion. And now they're saying his trial is expected to begin in February of 2020. So the prosecution is saying that Eric Holder is guilty of attempted murder because of that same kill zone theory. They say he may have only targeted one victim, but due to his mode of attack, two firearms, he had intent to kill everyone in a particular zone, especially given that his initial target was not moving. So that is uh, what's happening right now. I just want to keep you guys updated on what's going on with that. You know, and once a day I think about Nipsey Hussle. Rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. His, his murder just hit different, and it hasn't even been a year yet. But every day, at least once a day, I think to myself, they really killed Nipsey Hussle. Right. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. All right. Thank you, Miss Yee. Now we got front page news. Next, what are we talking about? Yes, we're going to talk about this really unfortunate shooting that happened at a Southern California high school that left two teenagers dead. All right. We'll get into that next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 